talking to organizers, they feel that for the first time since Roe versus Wade <clears throat> went through the Supreme Court, uh, and th they feel that they actually have a better shot at having at least a partial rollback of that. And they say that any sort of rollback on a federal level of Roe versus Wade would be, a, as you can imagine, a huge success for them. It would be a big win for them. And to that point, you heard uh, the vice president here, and he was talking about how next week he brought it up. Donald Trump is going to be announcing his pick for the vacancy on the Supreme Court, and he said it's going to be someone who shares the values of what he called the late great Antonin Scalia. So really a pledge to the folks here that Donald Trump is going to pick someone who is anti-abortion. And that got huge uh, uh, applause from the crowd here. Last year they had a blizzard, so it's kind of hard to compare it to last year. The weather definitely got in the way, John. But uh, just from my vantage point here on the mall, just to tell you, I'm, I'm about right next to the Washington Monument. Uh, there are people as far as the eye can see, really on all three sides here, opposite the stage. So there really is a lot of energy here.